Israel, if you act pr promiscuously, don't let Judah become guilty. Do not go to Gilgal or make a pilgrimage to Beth Avon, and do not swear an oath as the Lord lives. For Israel is an obstinate, as stubborn as a cow. Can the Lord now shepherd them like a lamb in an open meadow? Ephraim is attached to idols. Leave him alone. When their drinking is over, they turn to promiscuity. Israel's leaders fervently love disgrace. A wind with its wings will carry them off, and they will be ashamed of their sacrifices. Hear this, priests. Pay attention, house of Israel. Listen, royal house. For the judgment applies to you, because you have been a snare at Mitzvah, and a net spread out on Tabor. Rebels are deeply involved in slaughter. I will be a punishment for all of them. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. For now, Ephraim, you have acted promiscu promiscuously. Israel is defiled. Their actions do not allow them to return to their God, for a spirit of promiscuity is among them, and they do not know the Lord. Israel's arrogance terrify, testifies against them. Both Israel and Ephraim stumble because of their wickedness. Even Judah will stumble with them. They will go to, with their flocks and herds to seek the Lord, but not find him. He has withdrawn from them. They betrayed the Lord. Indeed, they gave birth to illegitimate children. Now the new moon will devour them along with their fields. Blow the horn in Gibeah, the trumpet in Ramah. Raise the war cry in beth -Avon. After you, Benjamin. Ephraim will become a desolation on the day of punishment. I announce what is certain among the tribes of Israel. The princes of Judah are like those who move boundary markers. I will pour out my fury on them like water. Ephraim is oppressed, crushed in judgment, for he is determined to follow what is worthless. So I am like rot to Ephraim and like decay to the house of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah his wound, Ephraim went to Assyria and sent a delegation to the great king. But he cannot cure you or heal your wound, for I am like a lion to Ephraim and a young lion to the house of Judah. Yes, I will tear them apart to pieces and depart. I will carry them off and no one can rescue them. I will depart and return to my place until they recognize their guilt and seek my face. They will search for me in their distress.